next block that we can look at here is uh, the list block which we already saw in the layout so I can have a couple of uh, things here uh, to list maybe these were these were items that I needed for a recipe so I can just add them and as I hit enter they automatically list themselves so it works out well in the end so that's the list block you can add more buttons under a button so that's also possible you can take it back you can change it into, uh, into the numbered um, version instead of the circles you can have the buttons uh, the numbers as buttons then you can also reverse it and have it counting the other way around and you can change the start value and say I want it to start from 10 and it will do that if you reflect this it will start from 10 and so on and so on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just duplicate this block and then I'm going to do something that's uh, interesting um, I'm going to add a column block here I'm going to add two columns which are equal and I'm going to get this drag and drop it here into that block and get this drag and drop here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start from 1 which is okay 1 to 8 and then I can start this from 9 I can start this from 9 sorry I can undo that and then I'll start this from 9 and it will go all the way till 16 so it automatically calculates for me what I want to do, I can just blow this to full width. Uh, doesn't look so nice. I'll leave it at wide width. And so I have everything working out for me. This is now I'm combining two different blocks. I'm using the column block and I'm using the list block to do this out for me. And you can see at the bottom here, our HTML structure is actually starting to come out. Okay. So that's a good thing with uh, the blocks it's counting and doing all that 